Welcome, welcome. I am Ancilla. I'll be your host on this stage today. I'll be moderating each and every speaker here on the creativity and social impact stage. Our first speaker that I'll be announcing is a very admirable young man who saw an opportunity to make the world into a better place, a greener place. He noticed that the governments and NGOs weren't doing everything they could be doing. And he took a chance, raised his own money, and started Africa Wood Grow. This organization aims to plant as many trees as possible in Africa, starting with Kenya. He raised all of his own capital. Please give a very warm welcome to Ruland Lelyveld. Hello. So I'm uh, Ruland Lelyveld. Um, this is my business partner, Daniel Mufali. We met each other in 2005 and I did an internship in uh, Kenya. Um, we did marketing research and we measured uh, some farms. And what I saw, there is a lot of erosion and soil de degradation. So you see here, uh, soil erosion, uh, the organic material goes into the, to the river. So I, was, I was thinking, what, ca what can I do to stop this? Uh, so the only way was uh, uh, planting trees. So I, I planted some trees, but uh, they died because nobody was looking, uh, taking care of them. So uh, f um, five years later, uh, in five years, I th thought, okay, I need to start a business. So the, bi the business owns the trees and makes a profit out of it. And it needs to be a business that it is environmental friendly and uh, also uh, improves the biodiversity. And um, uh, the timber that we produce uh, can be sell sold on the market so it, it makes the company sustainable. So it, 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 it makes it their own money to uh, replant forests and m maybe create more impact. Um, so in, in 2010, yeah, I choose this, this uh, photo because there are 10 trees. So in, 2000, <laughs> in 2010, uh, I went to Kenya with, uh, with some savings. Uh, bought this piece of, uh, of dry land and um, um, went to Nairobi to buy uh, equipment to, to build all the infrastructure. So we, we, we came here and uh, uh, start making bricks for, the, for, for building a house. So we, we made uh, uh, bricks from clay and uh, uh, dry them in the sun and 
from there we, we bake them and building a house for, for employees. Uh, we bought water tanks, pipes, all the, the infrastructure that we, we thought we need. Uh, we built a house. Uh, from there we, we bought solar panels and um, the antenna for taking the, the internet from 50 kilometers further away to the, to the house so we can have uh, uh, cameras to film all the activities. So from there we, we started a nursery to produce young trees and, um, and for when we planted the trees we had to dig all these holes because the soil is very hard and, um, and dense. It, uh, the raindrops has uh, compacted the, the, the soil a lot. And we had to also to put the organic material, the first 20 centimeters, uh, uh, on the bottom of the, of the planting uh, pit. And uh, the inorganic soil is on top. And, and then when, when the rain season starts, we plant the young seedlings. So here you see these ones are half a year old, uh, young trees. And then um, later, this is uh, five years later. Now I have a small movie. In the short movie, um, um, I explain in, in Dutch with English uh, subtitles um, how it works. What I very important find is that education by the umgeving begins. Education is very important. But if the umgeving is not healthy, then the life of the poor model is very important. But if the umgeving is not healthy, then the life of the poor model is not healthy. Thank you. Joel. Patrick, Alex en Wevo en uh, uh, hem noem ik altijd Fundi, maar dat is uh, zeg maar Swahili voor aannemen. En dan uh, Daniel en, uh, en ik. Hij moet hier op. Wat ik heel belangrijk ja, ja. vind is dat de ontwikkeling de van bij de omgeving begint. In uh, augustus 2010 uh, was het land dat zeg maar heel zo. belangrijk. En uh, uh, nu uh, is het heel belangrijk, maar als je de omgeving niet gezond hebt, dan blijf je maar doormodderen met mensen die niet gezond naar kunnen leven. Van de we moeten die mensen uh, op een andere manier met het gebied laten omgaan. En dit is uh, Joel en dan hebben we hier Mansia, Patrick, Alex en Bevo en uh, uh, hem noem ik altijd Fundi, maar dat is... Uh, Zeg maar Swahili voor aannemen. En dan uh, Daniel. En, uh, en echt ik. Doen en we doen dus voedselproductie en we produceren uh, de grondstoffen in de vorm van hout. Basis bosbouw. In uh, augustus 2010 was het land zeg maar zo. En uh, uh, nu uh, in 2014 staat het helemaal vol met bomen, zoals je hier ziet. Van onproductief naar, naar productief. We moeten die mensen. Uh, uh, op een andere manier met hun gebied als laten omgaan. Als we dit omgaan. systeem over dat hele gebied en, uitrollen, dan en dat ze werkt alleen maar als je het gewoon echt gewoon uh, doet en laat zien, niet vertellen. Iedereen, elke blanke man die daar komt, die vertelt wat. Ja, gaat het een oor het andere oor uit. Er komt weer zo'n wijsneus die het beter weet. Je moet gewoon echt doen en laten zien. Wat mijn visie is voor het gebied als basis bosbouw. En daar allerlei bedrijfstakken aan vastknopen. Dus uh, je hebt meubelmakers, een transportsector voor hout, voedselproductie die verbetert. Dus er komt een markt, er komen uh, meer marktkooplui. En als ik dat uitleg en die, die visie, daar willen zij ook wel voor gaan. Als we dit systeem over dat hele gebied uitrollen, dan kunnen ze dat, dat geloof ik. Doorzetten. Ja. 
So that, that was from uh, 2010 till 2015. And then we, we, we planted the whole farm at around 20 acres. Then we, we uh, went to another farm. So we, we brought our, our stuff with a very low tech with uh, bulls and carts. And here you see seedlings and a water tank. Brought it to a new field, also uh, empty field, and um, also made it uh, re reforested like this. And our bulls they can graze in the in the shade of the trees, so they evaporate less. Um, now we have uh, three farms. You see, this is Kenya. Then this is the region where we work. Then we have here the newest farm, and we have two farms there. And the farms, they act as, um, as a, a basis. So I start also started a foundation that works around the, these farms and, um, and um, enables the, the, uh, the farmers around, the Kenyan farmers, also to plant trees so they can make the transition from goat keepers to tree planters. Um, so that's what, what we are doing. And this area is 600 square kilometers. So we try to, to uh, reach all the farmers in this uh, region. Uh, I also uh, um, uh, promote tree planting by um, uh, uh, local schools. So the children already uh, get adapted to planting trees and they um, uh, yeah, so they know it is important. And um, here you see um, the first farm, of, uh, partner farms where we work with. Um, we have, we have. Uh, thi this is one one school here, Katoma Primary School, and nine farmers. And we uh, gave uh, all the farmers uh, 30 trees, so we di planted 300 trees. And now we are starting a project with uh, uh, 100 farmers, and we will uh, give 3,000 trees, and then all, every farmer gets uh, 30 trees. We have, uh, yeah, some, sometimes all the, the these farmers, they come uh, to the first farm, the oldest farm, and then we, we do tour around the farm to show the trees, uh, how uh, how the nursery works, uh, how we how we uh, prune it, uh, how how we produce food, and um, to to get them interested in in planting more trees. Um, here we we started. Um, it's called Tree Supporter, and it's not. We only have 84 uh, people, but you can re register with your LinkedIn account watch a, a, a movie, answer three questions, and then you, you plant one tree. And the, 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 tree, the, the owner of the movie pays for, the, for planting of the trees as a kind of advertisement. So what we hope is that we have a, a huge audience on this, on this website and that we um, attract advertisers and that they pay for, the, for planting of trees by watching the video. So they watch the video and then they got three questions to, to show they understand what they have seen. And then you can uh, ch ch uh, plant, plant a tree. Questions? Oh. Tatiana, yeah. Um, first of all, it's a wonderful project, so congratulations. Um, the thing that I don't understand, um, I think erosion has been a problem for decades from Indonesia to the Amazon. Um, and there have been a lot of uh, attempts to reforest and also a lot of them have failed. Um, but I. I could not uh, decipher exactly what you do differently or what is the key to your success. Yeah. And I'm not a biologist. Maybe you no. can explain me what. No, yeah. That's, that's also the same thing what I, what I 
uh, what I thought was, uh, why do all these projects fail? So uh, I came up, I, it needs to be a business and it needs to be owned privately with employees who earn their salary to sustain the, the trees. So what, what we produce is this. This is uh, Mahoney uh, uh, wood, timber, a high quality timber. And uh, we, if you, no, I can't do anything here. But if you saw the big trees, they, they make uh, 60 dollars or 60 euros after 10 years. So uh, we, we harvest uh, some of the trees, uh, make money out of it and reinvest it in more forests. So th that makes it sustainable. So it, it's, it's controlled as a, as a business, more like a social enterprise. We do not use pesticide, no chemicals. Uh, you saw the transport is done with, with oxen and carts. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that answer your question. But I see a hand there in the back. Let me run it over. Oh. In, in the last slide, you uh, let people watch uh, uh, commercial See this? before uh, planting a tree. Have you thought of people just donating like a dollar in like a crowdfunding kind of project? Yeah, I'm still thinking of that too, uh, especially with the foundation. Foundation is called Forest Market Foundation. Uh, I started in 2014. We did a small pilot project with the 10 farmers, and now we go to 100 farmers. So I, I think we will use a crowdfunding for for this for this thing. And then, uh, uh, if all farmers uh, uh, plant trees, we make a forestry economy, and then uh, uh, you have a, a, a we can combine. Uh, create a, a corporation or build a, 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 a factory for making furniture or but th those things are just ideas yeah any other questions lots of questions great go ahead thanks hiya thanks for your talk um, would you consider scaling up to other countries in East Africa? Uh, for example, I'm aware of a project uh, replanting trees on the foothills of Kilimanjaro in Tanzania. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, this, this week I sold uh, 1,000 seedlings from my farm to a uh, company in, uh, in Tanzania. So I, I'm, it's not uh, that I'm actively involved in planting trees in Tanzania, but the companies there are buying seedlings. So, their spin-off, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, thanks for the presentation, really a nice project. Um, I was wondering, um, when farmers get the, get the tree, um, how do they uh, treat it? Do they really, you know, uh, is it sustainable for them? Do they really uh, grow it and um, it does it keep on going? And I was also wondering a little bit more on the, kind of business uh, also out of it because you say there's money in it but it takes 10 years uh, before you can get money out of it is it uh, really uh, is it more productive than other forms of yeah. agriculture or other forms of economic activity many many questions yeah many questions. <laughs> um, first uh, the uh, it depends on the farmer so you see a huge difference in in uh, how they treat their their trees and First, we, we ask the village elders and some people who are responsible, who can we uh, 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 contact to start this? So we came with 10, and th this 10 will be the ambassadors of the, to, they all need to uh, collect an t another 10 people, and they are res responsible for the other 10 to make it. Um, so we, we give them a training, how to plant, uh, uh, how to take care of the uh, trees. And the second question is that the trees, they uh, uh, increase the productivity of the land. So they, uh, uh, they uh, capture nitrogen and put it in the soil. And uh, your, your food products, products need nitrogen as a, as, a, as a fertilizer. So you have a higher, higher outcome of your land. So, and they see it when, when you have these lines of trees and there are a lot of sun 
in, in, in between. You can still have your, your maize, your beans, uh, sorghum. So they, they see, okay, th it, it works. And they also copy it from each other, so, yeah. All right, I think we have time for one more question. Is it, does anybody have one? Nope. <laughs> I was wondering how you got so interested in uh, in trees and uh, biology, bio. Yeah, I, I was always interested in, in animals and, and plants. And so I, I did an, um, um, I, I, I was studying to become a gardener. And in this study, I could choose for an uh, internship. And I chose to go to Kenya. On the end, it, it was not, uh, they, they said it is not, not okay that I went there, so I had to do another internship. But I, I wanted to go there and, and explore the world, see uh, the big five and watch the, 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 the country, the how it all looked. And um, I thought, okay, here I can make a difference. So from that point, I, I, th I wanted to just put all the efforts I can to, to do something and to uh, to feel that I can uh, uh, live uh, um, with a purpose. Yeah. We sure are. Beautiful purpose. <laughs> Thank you so much, Roland. Please yeah. give a warm applause for Roland Thanks. from Africa Woodgrow. <laughs> uh,